Um, so one thing I am experiencing right now, like I, I go back, I keep doing things that are not in my own best interest, like over and over again. Um, my eating, and I keep saying, oh, you know, it'll be different tomorrow or I'll, I'll do differently later. By the way, my hair, like when it's short, you can't just let it do whatever it wants. <laughs> So I apologize. Well, not that this really need, it doesn't need to be an apology, but I'm just pre-explaining any anything that like might be flying out like that. Um, so I keep seeing these patterns uh, that I keep. And, I, and the thing is, I see them and I repeat them. For instance, you know, okay, well, I'll you know, I, and I, I went out and I got some food that I'm just gonna make tomorrow, and it's gonna be a batch cook. And I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna you know, have that for the rest of the week, and I'll, you know, I'll just have a smoothie and that, and that will be it for my food for the day. And that's the plan. I've got it. I've got. I've got it planned. The food is bought. That's what is happening. So today I went a little off the rails with the with the eating. Um, the other thing is. So there's all this work that I need to get done. And this has been the thing the whole time that I've talked to you guys really is like, like there's so much work and I'm not getting it done. And um, I would do so much better if I were in an office environment, like working for yourself is really hard. Um, especially when you have self-destructive tendencies. <laughs> Hope all my future clients are watching right now. But uh, not self-destructive, but self-sabotaging tendencies. So there's a bunch of work that I haven't done that's way, way past due. And it's still, there's still a lot of work to be done on these books. And um, it's just, it's there's a lot of fear attached at this point. <sighs> there's a lot of fear attached at this point. Um, a lot of overwhelm every time I go in. And it's been that way since the beginning of these books. Um, I gave, I, I made some bad decisions as far as like who I signed different things. And now I have to rewrite just a lot. And um, every time I go to it, it's so frustrating because it's like, Jesus, like this is, it's, it's supposed to have been done like, you know, several months ago, <laughs> several months, you know, four to six months ago, it should have been done. Um, and I still, there's still so much to do because I have to rewrite it. But I kept on being like, no, you know, telling my, my writers to rewrite it or my editor to help rewrite it. And that's great. But the thing is, it's still not to the... Bring it down. <laughs> Let's bring it down. It's still not to the standard that I want, that it needs to be. Not, not even that I want it to be, but that it needs to be. Um, so I'm going back through and I'm having to rewrite these, these books. Um, sometimes some of the chapters were from scratch and, uh, it's really, it's, it's frustrating. Okay. I see. I can have compassion for myself here. It's, there's a lot attached to it at this point emotionally, but I see, I keep seeing the patterns of me putting off like, oh, okay, it's Sunday, you know, like it's, it doesn't matter that it's Sunday. You're an entrepreneur and you have to work. <laughs> you know like but I just I'm going to explain I'm not going to make excuses I am going to explain you know living where I live I'm not I'm working on being happier with it and being like being more acceptance and less resistant to it um but it's it is I'm seeing all these patterns I can see them the patterns that have caused me problems in the past that I keep repeating and I keep going along with them, which is frustrating. But the way I'm going to choose to look at this, there are a couple of things that I'm, I'm, I'm taking. And, uh, and again, I do these things. I do these um, videos so that you guys have an example of someone choosing to do something different with their thoughts and their emotions. So that's what I'm here for. Just that's what's happening. Sorry, I feel like I need to say that more often. <laughs> um, so... These are things that have happened to me before, these patterns, and then also the panic that comes along with them, right? Like you spend the day and you see 
or okay, I spend the day and I see what I'm doing. I see the pattern happening as I'm doing it and I'm doing it anyway. You know, like it's just, it's like, a, it's an addiction, you know, like, okay, well, I'll watch the next t like TV, you know, like next episode of the show that I've watched already, <laughs> you know, but I really want to see it. And, you know, okay, well, tomorrow I'm starting this whole new eating thing. So I'm just going to eat everything in the house. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. And I see it as it's happening and I continue to do it anyway. <sighs> but the way I'm going to, I'm going to approach this is different. Um, one of the things that I've been listening to a lot lately, listen, obviously Michael Singer, I listen to him all the time, but one of the things that I'm getting, you know, cause every time you listen to something, that's like that deep, you get something new from it, you know? Or at least you know you, you're seeing it through the glasses of your of your own life, and you're hearing what you need to hear. Um, the part of it that that strikes you the most, that's going to help be the most helpful. Now, anyway, the point is, um, it's you know again, it's about watching these things and seeing them and falling behind and being okay with the fact that the process that's happening, which is my emotions bother me and my brain tries to figure things out. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what's getting, I don't know what the, the I know a lot of this happens to a lot of people. I don't really know what the, the cross wire here is because I figured it out, but my behavior isn't changing, but it is changing because like yesterday I was feeling good. I did, I did some work you know, the day before, I've been doing a little bit of work every day, not as much as I would like to be doing, but it's just, it's, I sit there and it takes a long time to get, to make any progress, which means like, makes it more important for me to do more, <laughs> but it's like, it gets frustrating, but, uh, I am doing, see, I want to say I'm doing my best, but I'm obviously not. But there's a lot of emotion attached to this. And I can be compassionate towards myself. Because at this point, it's been so long and there's so much attached to it. And I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about myself. Um, but instead of making that stop me, I'm going to use that to propel me forward. Um, I can't, this is the thing, it's like it's 11, it's almost midnight and I can't sit down and I can't sit down and, and rewrite a book right now. It's too late. My brain doesn't work. It's not, like I need to do it earlier in the day. Um, but I just spend that time during the day, like, and I know that I'm not going to. The, so anyway, the point that I, I am now I'm speaking in circles. <sighs> The point that I'm trying to make here <laughs> is that I see this pattern and it's repeating and I'm now repeating myself like several times in this video um, but what I'm noticing is that it's a uh, it's it's stronger um, and I think what's happening is that I'm losing it so it comes back that's that's the part of the um that's the part of the um, Michael Singer that I wanted to talk about was that um, ugh, I just lost it again. <laughs> anyway, um, see this pattern, I'm repeating myself again and again, and, um, extinction, like, so, so there's this sort of an extinction burst, right? Like, it's like, it gets, as you, as you work on it, and you, and you take a step forward, your mind automatically goes in and is like, <laughs> you know, and it kind of wants to, um, to slip back to the way it was. So it keeps going, it keeps like this. And the way I think that's important to look at it is like the stronger it gets going that way. It just means the better I'm doing over trying, like getting it to go away. So like, it's just, it's, it's exponential to the, um, thing. It's cause it's kind of like an addiction. It's, you know what I mean? It's kind of, you know, it's, I don't mean to make light of any, any sort of addiction that's like chemical. Um, but it's, it's, 
it's powerful. And um, I think as, as the inclination to go deeper into the behavior gets stronger, that just means that I'm working, that's just a sign that I'm working hard at getting rid of it, even though it comes back with a vengeance. Today, tomorrow is gonna be a great day. And you know, the food thing is already taken care of and I know that I'm gonna get up early and I'm gonna do the things that I, I mean to do. Um, so that's how I'm, I'm treating this. Instead of looking at it, because normally what I would look at it is I would see, see these behaviors and be like, oh, I can't, you know, like I, I keep failing and, um, I, you know, I'm not going to ever do it right. I'm not, I'm not ever going to get it done. I'm not going to ever blah, blah, blah. I'm not capable, blah, blah, blah. Right. Cause that's what I would usually, that's what it wants me to do. <laughs> that's what my brain wants me to do. Cause it does, it doesn't want to give us up, but, um, rather than fall into the idea that this is just me fucking things up again, I instead choose to think about how it is, um, it's just a sign that I'm getting better. And if I, like I was talking about last night, if I continue, if I believe that, then that is how I will behave. Whereas if I believe that I'm not going to do anything better, that's how I'm going to behave. So I know that I'm doing better. I know that I will do better. I know that every day, every moment, I am getting better at this. So that's my thought. I wanted to share that out there in TV land for anybody out there who might be in a similar like spiral, not spiral, but like cycle, right? A cycle. We're not going to call it a spiral unless we're calling it spiraling. Not out. <laughs> spiraling up, getting up to that point where you're like, you keep coming back to it so that it's finally you're on, on point. Um, so that's what I want to, that's what I want to say. I'm grateful for that. And I've just been like, there's been a lot of anxiety today, um, which makes me avoid what I'm so ridiculous because it's like I'm avoiding something and that's giving me anxiety that I'm avoiding it, but it makes me avoid it more. <laughs> oh, brains. Um, anyway, so I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to see this and, um, choose different thoughts and choose different ways of being um, and reacting. So as I watch my, I have, as I watch my anxiety, I am okay with the fact that I'm anxious. And I'm okay with the fact that I, like, I'm not okay with the fact that I'm screwing things up, but I'm gonna have to live with the feeling of it because I screwed things up. So as I'm making them better, I have to be okay with whatever I'm feeling because if I'm not, I'm just going to keep running away from it. Um, so I have to let this feeling be what it is and do it anyway, which I know is kind of obvious, but it's a thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm grateful for that. And um, so even in an anxious mood, I can tell you guys that you can always choose to have a grateful night. <laughs>